hello everyone welcome to tech nomads in this video i will be showing you how to ssh from your windows machine to a remote server in my case i'll be using ssh to connect to my linux server i'm going to show you three ways you can do that on your windows machine and the first way is using the open ssh client that comes with windows uh, you can just open your command prompt and check if it's enabled or installed on your machine so if you get these commands it means ssh is installed on your machine if not uh, search for features apps and features um, i select this option for manage optional features uh, then you add a feature and you scroll down your in case you open ssh client is not installed on your machine you can always install it from this list in my case it's there so i won't need this step uh, so once that is installed you can just go to your command prompt type ssh uh, your username on the remote on your linux server at IP address or your host name, whatever you choose to use. I use my IP address. Uh, you see it's prompting me for a password now so that means it's successful when you enter your password it will connect you to that server another way is by using an ssh client called putty i just type for putty online uh, then you can download it once you download you choose an installer for your machine uh, once you download putty you can open it you can put it on your machine it's actually pretty fast uh, so done. Uh, so once you install putty you put your hostname or ip address of your remote server so i'm going to put the IP address of my linux server uh, port 22 by default his search uh, service runs on port 22 uh, then you open uh as you, once you open this uh it it will tell you login as you can put your username uh, then it will prompt you for password oh yeah successfully logged into my ubuntu server uh, another way is by the use of git bash you can install git bash on your machine with git bash you basically run the same commands as you you run in your in your command prompt um so when git bash basically comes when you install git on your machine uh, so in my case i already have git bash on my machine uh, so i'm just going to do the same thing type ssh username at my ip address hyphen p you know your port number 22 wait for that then it will prompt you for password again
perfect. It it seems they have managed to connect to my remote Linux server using using those three methods. Uh, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you.